we have this slogan that says Pedro will take make it the leads, others follow if they can. Hello viewers, it's your favorite program for the Naked Day Diary. I am your host, Chi Awalamuke. In this episode, we'll be bringing to you a series of innovations and inventions that have taken place in the Federal Polytechnic Naked Day courtesy of our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Chidebere Arimangwa, through the assistance and the support of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund via the institutional based research grants. Follow me as I take you on a journey. My administration has actually put a lot of premium on research. An institution of this magnitude is not only a teaching institution, it should also be a research institution. When I came in in 2018, uh, I discovered that we were lagging behind in assessing third fund research funds. And we went to work, found out why that was so, put our house in order, and well, we started assessing those funds. We have been able to assess all uh, research funds made available by TED Fund from 2011. I came in in 2018, but we started assessing from 2011 till date. And so we moved from an era where we were not assessing our funds to an era where we won our award as the best in the utilization of third fund research funds. As necessity is the mother of invention and through the assessment of institutional based research grants from the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, TED Fund, our rector, having a capable workforce, has turned the Polytechnic into a technological innovation center within a short period of time. Because of our drive uh, to do research, which we sensitize staff, all academic staff, all teaching staff, to go into research. Because of that, we have been able to develop so many things. Uh, right now, we have developed about 20 machines, but a few of them I'm going to mention. Um, we have the electric car, which came with a lot of pump and pageantry. A lot of it, we have won awards based on that. We have developed a crucible furnace that is capable of melting steel in between 15 and 20 minutes. We have developed the rice, the, uh, the stoning machine. We have developed the uh, coconut, the husking machine. We have developed cassava processing machine, palm fruit processing machine. We have developed quite a number of things, including um, an iron corrugating uh, equipment. So we, a number of things have happened because of the efforts of um, our staff and of course, supported by management and funds provided by TED Fund. The institution has gone from a point of near zero research to a point where we are now known as a research institution. The electric car, no cis part, was designed by a team of engineers led by engineer Pius Chinedu Ngosu from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. I am engineer Pius Chinedu Ngosu from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. This is an electric car built from the desire to uh, bring electric cars home. That is one. Secondly, putting into use waste materials. Like I can show you now, this, the front of this car is made from waste materials, cow hoof and bamboo. Now, there's every need for us to start getting conscious of the use or the need to use electric cars. So there is need for us to build, to switch over to the use of electric vehicles. Uh, there's no engine, meaning that you're not destroying the environment. It's pollution free, noiseless. The only noise you will hear is the sound of the tire running on the floor. This 
can be charged with our simple electric points, electrical points in our households. And also, it has a solar panel which can also be used to charge it. We have abundance of sunlight in this part of the world and there is need for us to tap into that too. This is Noob 6 Yopat electric car made in Federal Polytechnic Nekede. During the construction of the car, the research and innovation for development team, alongside the representatives of the monitoring and evaluation directorates of the institution inspected the progress of the job. On completion of the manufacturing of the electric car, it was unveiled to the rector and the members of the management. The car was equally unveiled to the members of the 14th governing council of the institution, led by retired squadron leader Chima I. Chima. The invention of the electric car equally attracted the attention of some notable media houses in the country. Under the leadership of our director, engineer Dr. M.C. Arimanwa, J.P. Fellow, Nigerian Society of Engineers. Since he came on board, the institution has uh, developed a lot of innovative products. For example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, the institution developed automatic and semi-automatic hand washing machine as a response to the COVID-19 pandemic. That development was made within a very short time, just a few months into the pandemic. He thought of how the institution can intervene in the fight against COVID-19. And he put a team of researchers into task to task to develop that uh, innovative product, which is presently patented. So it's a patented product of the Federal Polytechnic Nekede. Next innovation is the gas-fired crucible furnace. The crucible gas-fired furnace was developed by engineer Dr. Silvester Adekwanduaba from the mechanical engineering department. It has the capacity to melt metals such as aluminum, steel, etc. within the time range of 15 to 25 minutes which is the fastest recorded so far in the country. You can see my second. Is that regulating the, the gas flow through the nozzle? The more you regulate the air, the more heat it generates. And the more you also regulate the gas, the more heat it generates. The blower is the source of the air. It is generating the air that is being sent to the burning zone of the furnace. The furnace has a unique pattern of generating heat. The metals melted are used to mold industrial and household items. This pattern now is for brake hub of a small vehicle. And then this is an impeller head of a machine. Pattern for an impeller head. We have all of them. This is an impeller head again for machine. We have their casts inside the workshop. So this is a brake lining for heavy duty lorries. Usually we produce them using gray cast iron. But for demonstration for students, we are using aluminum. A rise distoning machine that has the capacity to distone 20 bags of rice a day was invented. Now, this is a rice distoning machine. This machine has been made so portable for the simple village farmer, the peasant farmer, to use in his farm once he does his harvesting. The, the stoning, he can handle it. This can distone and also remove chaffs. Chaffs, I mean, is this from the rice. Now, this machine has two different stages of sieving, of stone separation. The first stage is on top here, then the last stage is there. And as it does, it uses the mechanism of vibration. It uses the mechanism of vibration to, to shake it off. And 
using by gravity the stones fall off now this machine is electrically powered but it also has a capacity or provision has been made for us to use an ic engine internal combustion engine to power it for areas or villages where you don't have electricity director's quest for invention of equipment that will aid seamless production of goods and services in the fabrication industry gave birth to the manufacturing of multi-purpose iron bending and corrugating machine my name is engineer okay okay monk i'm a staff of mechanical engineering department and i am presenting this beautiful project and the name of this machine is multi-purpose bending and corrugating machine. You need this kind of a machine so that if you want to get a bar of this arc, of a circular bar of this form, you'll be able to produce it. You know, we've mentioned this particular one, circular bending, this example. Let us move to corrugating. Corrugated pipes are costlier than plain pipes in the market because there are no machines to do this corrugation. So this one is another source of revenue for anybody that has access to this particular machine because you can just specialize in production of corrugated pipes. You go to the market, buy plain pipes, begin to corrugate them, and sell them at a costlier you know, price. What to do now is twisting off, you know, metal. It's connecting it, okay? So the twisting operation has started. So if you see here, you see it's twisting. Okay. So that's why we call this machine. We say it's a game, a game changer because it's going to solve almost all challenges faced by artisans, technicians, engineers who are into fabrication. Another mind-boggling innovation is the manufacturing of the fuelless, filmless generator. My name is Engineer Onyenobi Samuel. Here in Federal Protect in Nekede, we developed a generator that can produce 7.5 kVA power output. This generator can work without the use of petrol or diesel and they give you a power output of uh, 7.5 kVA. You can use it in household. So right in this machine, we have the alternator, 7.5 kV alternator. We have the flywheel of a 28 kg and have a DC motor of 3 horsepower. And also the pulleys and the belt drive. We also have the battery, 12 volts, and we also have an electronic uh, charging system and also a stabilizer. So let me demonstrate the machine. So here, the machine will start to work and the one you get at the op optimal condition, you start seeing the electricity, the light will come up. So for now, you see the light. Here in Polytechnic, we have students, we have staff that have all it takes to bring innovations to the world. And Federal Polytechnic Nekede is always the first. So come to Federal Polytechnic to learn more. A lot of projects have been invented in the lifetime of uh, the present administration led by engineer Dr. M.C. Arimawak. Some of them include uh, the very popular electric car, which has uh, gone for several exhibitions. We have the rice distoning machine. We have the palm fruit processing machine. You have quite a number of them. The very vibrant um, directorate. You have the coconut, the husking machine. You have the spy jet drone. Uh, you have the centrifuga, the watering machine. You have coconut, the husk, you have quite a number, even the ones that have not uh, been launched openly. I can tell you as we speak, we have the fuelless generator that has been tested in the campus here. A farm implement that can be used by peasants and small scale farmers to plant grains was equally manufactured. My name is uh, Engineer Uguegu Duke from the Department of uh, Mechanical Engineering. The machine in front of you is being fabricated at the Federal Polytechnic Naked, whose name is Manua 
seed planting machine. The working principle of this machine is quite simple. You can see the hopper, which is built in the Fostrom pyramid pattern, and it can contain six meter cube of grain. We have this pocket. We have the plowing tool beneath the machine. We equally have the fodder where the seed will fall out from. Then there is a metering system inside here whereby we design a shaft which will allow the seeds to fall out at different time interval. Now, if you watch a little rotation from the machine, you will discover that there is an opening here. At every 90 degree, the opening comes up. When it comes up, the seed fall into the metric system. We have the chain here. We have the cover be behind the framework of the system. Now, what happens here? Now, immediately a force is exerted on the handle of the machine. The motion kicks up. As we go further, you notice the droplets of base coming out from the tooth beneath the system. So the essence of this machine is to help cut down fatigue and make it less cost effective so that even the pizza farmer in the village will be able to afford this machine and make farming more easier. A coconut dehusking machine was among the machines invented in the institution. I am Engineer Pius Chinedumosu from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Now, this is a coconut dehusking machine. By dehusking, I mean the removal of husk, the outer coating of every coconut when it is harvested. This machine removes it, and then we now see the coconut itself proper inside. It helps to hasten the, the husking, especially for the industrial uh, coconut producers. For instance, people that produce coconut oil at industrial level. So this makes them to the husk faster than the usual uh, using of knife or machets to build it. This operates electrically this operates electrically as it turns the coconut is put here what we call spikes that are inside this place now tear into these coconuts to remove the spikes as it turns and at the end you have your coconut the quest to fabricate machines that will bring swift operations in the processing and production of finished product from palm tree led to manufacturing of palm kernel cracking machine. My name is engineer Dr. Adekwandaba. This is one of our fabrications and we call this kernel cracker and separator. There are two units here. You have the cracking unit and you have the separation unit. The, the cracker here has a hopper and uh, it has a unit, the cracking unit, where an impeller is employed to do the cracking. A hammer is fixed into this cracking chamber. And by the time it hits the kernel against the wall, it cracks and it travels down. This basket is meant to separate the kernel from each shell. It is such that as the basket revolves, the kernel will travel long the distance of this basket and enters out at the point of collection. While the shell, you know, drops along the lane as the basket revolves. Over 200 kg what of kernel can be cracked in less than one hour. Next on the line is the palm fruit digesting machine.
this is a wonderful development from our, our school Engin engineered by our director engineer dr michael Aremawa, who has judiciously used test fund money allocated to institutions in a wonderful way that have never been seen before so like we have here like this rice this little machine is a wonderful development that can that can uh, distill 1000 kg of rice in six hours and this corner distillation machine there's a wonderful development that can help uh, peasant farmers to produce coconut oil for industrial use this is a wonderful development and we want to thank Ted Fund who have been assisting our institutions to develop all this thank you very much and god bless we want to use this opportunity to invite good-spirited individuals, those who are interested in uh, sponsoring research activities, to invest in the Federal Polytechnic Naked. Uh, I am challenged when I see uh, investors investing in reality shows, spending millions and billions uh, funding reality shows. Let, let's also have such people or other people invest in academics invest in research and uh, we are ready to uh, we are ready to partner with such people to either develop new machines or mass produce the ones we have uh, already developed so we are inviting uh, people who are interested people who want to see the progress of the inst institution the progress of the nation the technological advancement of nigeria to come to Federal Polytechnic Nekede and invest in the things we are doing so that we can fine tune our inventions and mass produce them for, uh, for use within the nation and even for exports. Thank you. Wow, without missing words, this is a great proof that our rector, engineer Dr. Michael Tudebere Arimangwa, is a man of the future, creating conducive atmosphere for all to thrive. And to you, our indefatigable rector, the Federal Polytechnic Nekede Owere, will never forget all these strides. And to our innovative viewers, I will be coming your way next with various series of achievements. But until then, I remain your favorite host, Chi Awalamuke.